Three days down, overnight, three days back. Promise. Baby, you're not due for a month. I will be here. You keep taking your prednisone. Sarah's gonna check in on you every day. And don't forget Chris and Tony. Just couldn't stop me. Z twenty eight's waiting on a clutch. Intrepid's ready. What else? Kuda still needs a master cylinder. Corey can handle that. Hey, did you get the air grabber working? Oh, yeah. 71s are always a bitch, but when they're done right, they're a bitch. <laughs> How's Finney handling the loopers? Yeah, she's hanging in. Hey, can you make her some of those empanadas? Come on, manito. Hey. Take it easy, Kowalski. Dr. Snyder wants a new motor broken in. Not broken, OK? Like hell, but don't wreck my car, okay? Make up your mind. Yes, Dad. Jim, how was the ride? Mm. I'll 
I'll take that. Hey, my bus didn't leave till the morning. Can I crash here? No problem. Let me see if there's something going north. Hey, sweet. There's a 70 Hemi Challenger in Santa Fe. Needs a correct dash pad. Hemi? Hemi. Where's that going? Salt Lake City. I've got a pad. I'll get the car down here tomorrow. We'll put it in. We'll pick up another six bills going home. Hello. You okay, Daryl? Hi, my love. Yes, I'm fine. Not having a flare, are you? No, no, just a little fatigue. How'd you like to have the baby in the hospital instead of at home? Can we afford it? Well, I got a delivery to Salt Lake City if I want it. Well, that's wonderful. It means I won't be home till Monday, though. Mm. I'll live. I'll call you from the road every chance I get, okay? I'll be here. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Bye. You're on. Challenger. Come on, it's just a car. Excuse me? Honda Accord brake jack, right? Yes, yeah, ready? Not until I explain something. A 1970 Hemi Challenger is not just a car. <laughs> it is the apotheosis of American muscle car technology, okay? A reminder of when we were number one Whatever. Let me know when it's done. Some people just don't get it. Hey, this is a class one show car. How come the owner doesn't want a trailer? You're cheaper. KBHX Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, The Voice. That's right, citizens. This is The Voice, bringing you truth instead of misinformation, facts instead of fluff, and music, real music, not the mindless noise and simper and pap you find everywhere else on your dial. This is the John Doe thing, with a little tune called Fallen Tears. Virginia's not answering the phone. Sarah, is that you or not? Where are you, Jim? I'm in Gallup, New Mexico. Why? What's up? How long do you think it would take you to get here? It's almost 1,200 miles. What's going on? 
Benny's lupus has flared up. She's in really bad shape, Jim. Where is she? She might lose the baby. Where are you guys? We're at St. John's in Boise. Tell her, tell her, uh, tell her to hang on. I'll be there at night. Lucas. I'm sorry, but I, I got... Hold it right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I... Close your mouth, clasp your hands behind your head, and turn around. <laughs> Never know, do you? Routine traffic stop. Guy starts to rush you, that's how Bert Travis got killed. Hey, Slick, we put you at 102 miles an hour. Failure to stop and resist an arrest. I'm not resisting. My wife... I don't want to hear it. You're going to see the judge. What? Cover this puke stain. What's his problem? It's routine. Every speeder has to go to the station. Postponed. Yeah, is it routine to throw down on every speed or two? You're supposed to remain seated in your vehicle with your hands in plain yeah. view. How long is this going to take? Depends on his mood. Great. Look, my wife's in the hospital. Quit grabbing your gums and get the vehicle registration. Ain't your car, is it, Flash? It's in the glove compartment. You really gonna shoot me? Hey! Shut it off! Come on! Move your ass, rookie! Let's go! Zebra 620. Request 1029 and 1036 on suspect driver Kowalski James. 7911 dispatch. Negative 1029 and 1036 on suspect Kowalski James. We've got nothing on him.
Excuse me, miss. How can I get to Boise right away? Right away, huh? Yeah. I can check. Yeah, actually, we have a flight 637 that goes to Boise with one stop in Salt Lake City. When's that leave? 3.30. Okay, yeah. How much is that? It's 3.30 tomorrow. No, I gotta go. I gotta go now. Gee, must be an emergency. Yeah. Thanks anyway. Hey, wait. There's this guy, Jeff Taylor. He rents charters out of here. He could probably take you all the way with a couple of gas stops. Where's he at? I'll time at home. The IRS? Oh, don't get me started. The 16th Amendment was never properly ratified. Compensation for labor is not income, you understand? Read the Constitution, it is the highest law in this land. Rights entail responsibilities. Knowledge is power, use it or lose it. Now listen to this. I need to speak to my wife, she's a patient there. Rafinia Kowalski. Kowalski. K O W. Right past us. Looks like it's Colorado's problem now. Roger, we'll advise Colorado.
Nice car. I don't see too many 70 challenges these days. Heard New Mexico chase one this morning. That's so. Yeah. Picks up all sorts of things. You a ranger? Was. Disobeyed a direct order to pull back. Sir, I stay forward, call in airstrikes, and get those tanks knocked out. You like to freelance, don't you? Play cowboy? I've been here nine months, Captain. I know what's going on. This war's over, Sergeant. The military is downsizing. Maybe you ought to think about a career change. As soon as my hitch is over, I'm gone, sir. Dismissed. Kowalski. I guess you are in these. You? Marine. We think ranges are candy asses. Jar is lick. No, all right, man. What else you need? Web scanner. I can order you one. Unless you're in a hurry. Just a little. Sounds to me like you really need to know what the man's up to. Don't we all? It's a sad truth. New Mexico. Colorado, this is New Mexico. Suspect Challenger left scene northbound 666 at Colorado. Dispatch unit 4717 southbound 145 at Cortez. We have nothing. Repeat, no contact with any white 1970 Dodge Challenger. Arizona. Now, this is unit 29. A motorist has reported some kind of wild man in an old muscle car uh, speeding westbound on Highway 160. What do you think? Some goof? Send another unit. In the old west, outlaws used fast horses to escape from posses and hide out in the vast, undeveloped wilderness. In the depression, desperados used Ford V8s, backcountry roads, and the sovereign borders of state lines to dodge Johnny Law. Today, with satellites, computers, urban sprawl, and limited access highways, there's nowhere to run and no place to hide. But somewhere out there, there's at least one man who hasn't gotten the message. He's already blown through three states and nobody's been able to stop him. Now, we don't know if he's out for a joyride or on a mission. But we're going to watch what happens. So this next tune is from my man in the Challenger. Light him up, brother. We'll see who lights up what. Sergeant. Gil? You hear about that boy running around Arizona? Yeah. You think he's a druggie or what? All I know is he's terrorizing Four Corners. He's in Utah now. Where? Oh, we just got a report from up uh, Monument Valley. Let's go. In the Charger? Absolutely. You think we're gonna nail him in that dog price Chevy? Take some Mopar to catch Mopar. Right on. Get the shotgun.
Uh, roger that, Sergeant Preston. Use caution. Hopefully this will be short and sweet. Get in the car. What are you gonna do? Terminate this pursuit.
How's she doing? Can I talk to her? Where are you? I'm in southern Utah. You're not on a plane? No, I'm, I'm, it's a long story. She's in surgery. So what are her chances? I don't know. They won't tell me anything, but they seem confident. The baby? Not sure. You gotta get here, Jim. I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Hurry. Well, get here as soon as you can. 10-4. Take it easy, boy. We'll get you out of there. That's gonna be too late. How do you know? By the time your man with dark gun gets you, he'll choke itself trying to escape. You're crazy. If it tears me up too bad, shoot me. I don't want to shoot that lion. He said, shoot me. Why can't you just jump off a bridge like any other nutcase? Kowalski, James, World Route 3, Chile, Idaho. Former Army Ranger, one Bronze Star in Desert Storm. Police record? Served nine months in Chicago Battery, some kind of drug case. That's either drugs or guns. Sir? That is running. How do you figure guns? Idaho, Darnham? Extremists. Right wing militias? That's it. That's our way in. Domestic terrorism. This boy could be carrying high explosives. Planning another Oklahoma City. He could be, sir, but we don't have any evidence of that. We'll get it. He's run across four states. It's got to be something big. Uh, I was a drug casualty. I never knew my father. Yeah. My mom ran away with a lawyer when I was five. And, um, Daddy was a prospector. Hmm? He, yeah. <laughs> Died drunk in Nevada, panning for gold. That sounds like we're made for each other. <laughs> you Catholic? No. Well, if you want to be with me, you're going to have to join the church. You really believe that? All that stuff? And don't tell me. The only thing you believe in is a 426 Hemi. I believe what I can understand. Mm hmm Something goes wrong with an engine. I can fix it. Mm-hmm. When people aren't like that. I guess I don't trust things that don't come with a repair manual. Engines don't demand love. They also don't give it. No 
doesn't look good. Just see what you can do, okay? Let's go. We going home? Chuck. I think we've done our bit here. Besides, he's out of our jurisdiction anyway. Come on, get in the car. That's a direct order. Dispatch, Sergeant Preston. Go ahead, Sergeant. What's the latest on uh, Suspect Challenger? Uh, suspect Challenger last seen West Route 95, Glen Canyon area. We are rejoining the pursuit. That's negative, Sergeant Preston. The Chief has requested federal assistance. FBI chopper is in the air now. Let me talk to the Chief. Uh, he's in bed. You want me to wake him up? Uh, negative. Uh, I'll call him in the morning. Roger. Dispatch out. Oh, you will love this, citizens. This is America, circa 1996. The Federal Bureau of Investigation has joined in the hunt for our man in the Challenger, Kowalski. Now, what business does Big Brother have sending a high-tech helicopter after a mere speeder, you may ask? Why, our new anti-domestic terrorism statute, of course. Driving too fast now makes you a threat to the well-being of our great republic. People, the Bill of Rights is as forgotten as the Dead Sea Scrolls. Stay in line, keep your head down and your mouth shut. Because if you get on the wrong side of Uncle Sam, your life is over. Don't you think you ought to tone it down a little? Why? To give yourself some room. In case this guy turns out to be hauling a trunk load of cocaine. Salt Lake City Chopper 4, we are West 95, Glen Canyon area. We got a make on a uh, negative on that. To get some answers to these questions, we've come to the place where the fugitive works. KBA Mr. Moss, could we get your opinion of the situation? It's total harassment, okay? Kowalski hasn't done anything. He's just trying to get home to his wife. She's in a hospital with a difficult delivery. And there you have it. Guy actually for CNN. We are back. Now, those of you who have been watching CNN know what this whole Kowalski thing is all about. He just wants to be at his wife's side for the birth of his child. Now, there was a time in this country when the police would have given this man an escort instead of trying to run him into the ground. I'd like to give you an update on our investigation on the fugitive James Kowalski. Now this individual is a convicted felon who served a prison sentence for battery with known drug connections and possible links with right-wing racist militia groups in Idaho. Now he has endangered the public safety, caused injury to police officers, and has destroyed public and private property. He is considered to be armed and dangerous. And I can assure you, we will not rest until he has been brought to justice. Don't move, Jim. Come on, young fella. Put your head through there. Ah, the boy. Thanks, Jim. That's easy money. Who are you? Named Moles. How you know my name? Didn't. I call everybody Jim, Jim. What do you do with the snakes? Trade them on the res. For coffee, sugar, cigarettes, salt, flour, beans, 
Lots of beans, Jim. You live out here? I'm the original desert rat. The dark skin model. I know these hills like you know your girl's backside. You lost? Or running away from somebody? Not lost. Then we better get this machine out of sight. What? Whirly bird's coming. I don't see a thing. Black means federal or military. You must be a real bad man. Right up there with Dillinger. Another set of tracks. We're getting low on fuel. He could be in there. It looks like another dune buggy or four-wheeler. Closer to spotted. Just keep your head down and keep the faith. Let's refuel and come back. Long with the wind. Let's go. <laughs> thanks, Moles. No thanks necessary, Jim. That's why we put on this earth, to help each other. What can I do for you? Drop me at the res. You got it. Ski Vernal. 21 runs open. Four lifts. Three runs dedicated to snowboarders only. Mm. Thanks. You need sleep, boys. Not yet. Oh, you're on the air with the boys. Yeah, I'm calling from Chicago. I'm a capper. Welcome, officer. Got some info on the uh, drug stuff with this Kowalski gay. All right. His mother was a mope, a crackhead. She got behind on her payments. Kowalski got pinched for beating up the dealer who was leaning on her. Well, now, the feds say that Kowalski was involved with drugs. As usual, the G don't know what the hell they're talking about. Kowalski was clean. But the dealer he hammered had a brother on the job, so Kowalski went to the joint. That's the real story. You heard it here, citizens. The truth about our lone wolf's police record. Things are not what they seem, are they? Take it. You did not speak. That's good. It shows respect. The snake spirit has power. In war, in medicine, in the vision quest. The one who makes all things wants you to become a man. Do you accept this? Listen, uh, I need some gas. You need more than gas, get where you're going. You know who I am? I watch CNN. Then you know I'm in a hurry. Your journey here has purified you. Your white car symbolizes the white clay that my people once used to prepare themselves. 
for vision quest. Now he's going to ground somewhere between Glen Canyon and the Ori Reservation. His luck's about to run out. Every road out of the area is covered. Salt Lake City, this is Chopper 1. We have refueled and are back in the air. Roger, Chopper 1. James, I baptize you in the name of the Father. Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. The lion is your spirit guide. He seeks the untrodden path. Once this world was his, now he has little room to roam. What happens when he runs out of room? Then his spirit seeks release. A horned toad can tell you which way to go. This toad says to go west. I'm headed north. Go west. To the Salt Lake Desert. Then turn north. It's a rough country. Police will have difficulty following you there. Police have helicopters. Helicopters can't fly in high winds. Why are you doing all this for me? The federal government has called you their enemy. I will call you my friend. Do you believe in everlasting life? My wife does. Do you? I'm working on it. Mas, Mike Mas. I'm Kowalski's partner, okay? We own a performance car shop, the Double M in Sun Valley, Idaho. We restore and rebuild the finest muscle okay, cars. Okay, Mike, I got the picture. How long you known Kowalski? Five years. He's my best friend. Is he a white supremacist? Yeah, and I'm married to Cindy Crawford. Kowalski's no bigot, and he's not no militia neither. As far as I know, he don't even own a gun. Thanks for setting the record straight, Mike. Kowalski, uh, if you're listening, you'll be happy to know that citizens across this country are forming a grassroots movement in support of you. But don't break your arm patting yourself on the back. Because Big Brother is not happy. He wants to turn the lone wolf into a lap dog. Every road in central Utah is blocked, and the eye is in the sky, so you better spray that challenger of yours with some invisible paint. KBHX Challenger Watch 96. Call your congressman. Tell him the Ray FBI Wallace, should leave Kowalski alone. We have great specials this week on all KBHX. This is Kowalski. Another one. Hey, wait, don't cut me off. Why don't you call the Inquirer and impersonate Elvis? Because I've been busting my ass for 36 hours straight and I don't have time to screw around. Hold on. Possible Kowalski, line three. Is this a joke? When you make the 10 most wanted list for just trying to get home, I hope somebody's laughing. Kowalski, listen to me. 
They don't know where you are right now, but you can bet they got St. John's Hospital covered like a typhoid tent. I gotta be there, man. My wife might be dying. You won't make it. What do you want me to do? Just give up? Excellent idea. Get a lawyer. Try to make some kind of deal. No deal, voice. Unconditional surrender is the only option. Lawyers take time. I'm a little short on that. Must be a cellular phone. Call Frank Fisher to NSA. Get some satellite time. Try to pinpoint the signal. How am I going to sell it? You're going to tell Mr. Fisher that the credibility of the federal government is on the line. With all the heat we've taken with Waco and Ruby Ridge, we can't afford to let this Kowalski character embarrass us. Now get on it. Now. All right, now we got the story on your bogus prison record, and we know you're not some kind of Nazi, so I'm going to let you concentrate on the road. Wait, I got a question for you. Shoot. A couple of troopers were chasing me in a 68 Charger. They had a bad wreck. Anybody hurt? Just some pride, far as I know. Good. Anything else you want to say? Just that I never meant for this to become a circus, you know? I'm not a hero or a symbol of anything. I'm just a guy trying to get home to his family. He's a stray bullet, and we got to stop him. Good luck, Skill. I'll probably get a promotion out of this. I'm gonna be getting transferred out to Zion, guarding elk migration routes. That's what I'm gonna be doing. St. John's Hospital. Uh, Dr. Nazrin, please. Jim Kowalski. One moment, please. For you. This is Dr. Nazrin, Mr. Kowalski. How is she, doctor? She's fine. And the baby? We are preparing to do a cesarean. We had to stop the bleeding first. How long? Uh, we'll operate tonight if we can, so... You'll be able to see them in the morning. I'll be there. You did just fine, doctor. Yeah, yeah. You got him. NSA satellite locked onto cellular transmission. He's headed west on 50. That's Lila. He'll have to cross the interstate. We can block all four viaducts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, no. Southbus 277, Colorado Springs, Topeka, and Des Moines now departing. At the tone. Time will be 207 and 30 seconds. At the tone.
This better be good. Maybe he can drive, but the jerk can't stay off the telephone. He's double back. Now he's headed east on 70. I'm taking the chopper this time. You must be insane. Why? Why? Joy riding on a salt flats half naked. You're trying to outrun the combined police agencies of four states and the FBI halfway across America, so who's crazy? There is a difference. I didn't set out to do this. Oh? Huh? He wouldn't have nowhere to get some gas. Yeah, an oil pan? What? Take a look. Doesn't make sense. Unless he forgot to hit end and the circuit is just hanging open. I've done that before.
I I'm Kowalski. Prove it. Who else would I be? The G. The vanguard of the federal invasion to destroy me. Uh, no. I'm, I just want to buy some gas and, and I'll, I'll be on my way. Of course. You'll move along. Just move along. The stormtroopers will move in. He ain't the G, Sammy. He's alone. I don't buy it. Check him out. Check the car. She wouldn't go to that much trouble. Sammy. Smart gal. Protects me for myself sometimes. It's nothing personal. But ever since I unvolunteered to file tax returns, the G has been hassling me, man, threatening me. I know I ain't going quietly. He needs an oil pan. For a Hemi. I ain't got one around here. Mountain City. I might find one in Mountain City. How far is that? 30 miles. 30 miles, Idaho state line. Well, if we patch it, I think I could make it. Don't let him go. Sammy, Mountain City? Crawl him with heat. She's right. Right as hell. You stick. I'll go. Do a little recon. Oi. Not interested. Well, what Sammy said. My body's my business. I'm married. She must be quite a woman. Yeah, she is. For her, I don't care about anything. She saved my life. She's about to have my kid. Well, she is quite a woman. So are you. Thanks. I appreciate your time. Thank you. 
This might be nothing, but a biker just bought an oil pan for a 1970 Challenger at a junkyard in uh, Mountain City, Utah. The dealer was suspicious, called the state police. I'm beginning to think there were no decent citizens left in this country. Block route 226 north of Mountain City at Idaho. Can't help but wondering. Wondering what? How he's gonna get through this time. He's not. Idaho police back us up all the way. Don't go soft on me, Gil. I'd love to run hard like Kowalski too, but I can't. It's called growing up. Someone come knocking on your door for helping me. Uh, Sammy's got friends out here. They make the price too high. Hey, man, Smokey's all over that state line. You better get busy. Thanks for helping me out. You're not a hero, Kowalski. Never said I was. You're just an ordinary man. I feel more like one every minute. Too. I'll tell you what, though. They are inflating you into some giant villain, a menace to society, so they can look mighty when they Sammy. squash you. <laughs> He's always a little apocalyptic on Saturdays. <laughs> There's no way around that roadblock. Well, I'm gonna have to find one. No, you won't. But I can get you through it. How's that? Sergeant Preston, dispatch. FBI units are en route to take charge of the roadblock and investigation. Over. 10 4. FBI's on the way. They're not stopping. Make a hole! Move it! Move those cars! Let them through! Make a hole! Get the cars! Move it! Move it! Find him. Go ahead. Give me that. Give me that infrared. Somehow he's out there somewhere. somewhere. Every road is covered. There's no way out. Let's just cordon off the area and wait him out.
Do you miss racing? Yeah. You sorry you gave it up? No. You gave it up for me. If I want to be with you, I got to live. I don't want anything to ever break us apart. Nothing ever will. Well. This baby's about had it. We need a car anyway. Well, I'll put a new motor in the truck. When we win the lottery, okay? Well, we got about nine months to get lucky. Uh, we made it through last winter, all right. Jim, you can't fit three people on a motorcycle. Not happy. I never thought I wanted to be a father. But I do. Because I am. Ain't it risky, though, with the lupus? To me, life's a risk. John's Hospital. Dr. Sinclair. This is Dr. Nazrin. Sounds like they got him. At Northwestern Pacific Railroad Berm. Good morning, citizens, and happy Easter. This is the voice, your voice. Things are not looking good for our man Kowalski, the lone wolf, the last American hero. He's running north, up Idaho Route 51, with the state police on his tail and a welcoming committee forming up ahead in the town of Riddle. Will the state finally crush this free spirit, or will an Easter miracle save him? Now, Kowalski has said he's no hero, but of course, 
Modesty is one of the prime virtues of heroism. He's an ordinary man, forced into extraordinary actions by the mindless mechanical bureaucracy which seems determined to control every aspect of our lives. But citizens, let me ask you this. When an ordinary man like Kowalski is pilloried and vilified, where are we going as a society? What road are we driving down when everything we say or do may violate some new government regulation? When we are all criminals, who is free? you guys doing here? Who's orders? My order, Sheriff. Warren Taft, the FBI. Get your vehicles out of here. Now. The FBI is in charge of this investigation. Or haven't you heard? My men have got more important things to do than chase down some poor devil who's just trying to get home to his wife. I'm warning you, you Sheriff. You watch your step, Mr. G-Man. I am the duly elected sheriff of this county. You gonna arrest me? This whole thing is a fiasco. And you, you ought to be ashamed. Why don't we let him through? What? What's the harm? He sees his wife, plays hoochie coochie with this kid. We pick him up at home next week, nice and easy. No media, no hostile crowd, no problem. You obviously don't understand the situation. Yes, I do, sir. That's why I said what I just did. But well, you got two choices. You can stand here and do as you're told. Or tomorrow morning, you can be fetching coffee for Dudley Do-Right. A dispatch, we're right with him. He's holding steady at 50. Maintain your position. Do not try to force him to stop. Uh, copy that. We'll give him room. Dr. Nazarin, please. One moment. This is Dr. Nazarin. I go with my wife. I'm sorry. Her kidneys failed during the operation. She died at 719 this morning.
It's estimated that the Challenger, riddled with more than 200 bullet holes, hit those bulldozers at over 185 miles an hour. No one could have survived that impact. But no body was ever found. So what happened to Kowalski? The authorities say he's dead, vaporized in the explosion. Some witnesses swear they saw him bail out and escape with the help of allies in the crowd. Still others claim that he and his daughter are now living somewhere out west. I don't know. But it's somehow reassuring that even in this computerized, bar-coded era of data banks and thumbprints, at least a few mysteries still remain. Hãy subscribe 